but one of the problems has always been actually getting down onto it, onto the left side. Okay. I'm a bit of a scooper. Like, I'm keen to see what, what machines tell us in terms of the biomechanics, because, yeah, it's always a bit of a scoop or a flip. Yeah. So. so what could we do to get that strike? Yeah. And I'm probably, I'd imagine that that's probably compounds the back problem, because I'm quite probably hit, hitting it from in here. Which, uh, but I mean, I guess I'm here. Have you always swung that way? No, I don't think so. No. Yeah, it's just starting to get, just what we want to do is start to understand what your golfing IQ is in terms of what you see in the psyche behind it. Yeah. And then we can look at the physical IQ of it. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at, did the two match up? So strike wise, Mark, what's the tendency with a strike? Great question. Don't... Not sure. Uh, That's a good answer if you're not sure. Not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. So would that be a more kind of exceptionally high launch or would fairly, fairly normal no, for you? That's pretty normal. Pretty normal high launch. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a high launch, isn't it? <laughs> it's definitely a high launch. <laughs> All right, downwind. So that was a bit heavy, yeah? Yeah. So what would you do on your next shot? So you hit another shot, <laughs> you've just got some feedback, that was heavy. Do you just go again with the same swing or do you make some kind of, what do you do? I'm not sure I would so consciously say, make an adjustment. Right, um, okay, that's fine, that's cool. So say you'd started the round of golf and you're catching it a bit heavy, a few first few fairway shots a bit heavy, would you make any kind of adaptation in your practice swing or any kind of intention behind your swing? Or would you, you carry on, yeah? Honestly, no, I don't. Okay. It's very blurry, this. Yeah. It's very, very blurry in terms of you're a very skilled golfer, high skill set. That's very generous. You are, because um, you play for good handicap, you played good golf for a, for, for a long time. You're able to manage your game and manage yourself. We've got to start to unearth what makes that skill set a little bit, because we're not looking to get technical or overly analytical. We don't want the paralysis by analysis. We're not talking about thinking whilst you're swinging. I'm trying to understand what you experience kind of on reflection. Mm -hmm. So how do I differentiate what I experienced between the high, the normal shot and then when I try to hit it lower? How do I differentiate between when I try and draw it, when I try and fade it? Just so deterministically in the future, you've got something to draw upon from the past. Yeah. Otherwise, we're always... Hi guys, the GRF Travel Club is revisiting the Glory Resort. We're in Turkey from the 10th to the 15th of March, four star venue, amazing courses, five nights, four days of coaching with myself and one of the GRF staff, plus on the course with our GRF tour player, Mark Foster. We've got six places, guys. Follow the link in the description and we look forward to seeing you there. Otherwise, we're always going through the same process. So we've got to find out what your blueprint is here, because there ain't one, really. So yeah. we need to find out. At this moment in time, we're just seeing what you do with these forces. So as you swing back, watch that pressure. It really just shift mark. It's great. What Shifts quick. Look at that. Pressure's moving across. It's initiating. It's giving you something to work with, with your body. And then as you're getting towards the top, you start to shift your pressure back to the target. These are all kind of really ath athletic moves. These are good, dynamic. And then as it's shifting, it starts to stall. And right at the moment, your pelvis, you basically just rotate your pelvis into your femur. And it's basically a dead end. Okay. Legs just stop arms take over. We never get the torque in the positive direction, so we're not using the ground for rotation. Yeah. So we're having to rotate using the upper, upper chain, the upper torso, but, the upper, but that, that's gone quite early, so now we've, we've expended that. So you're, in, you're into throwing the, the weight. Yeah. Okay, for, talk, for the torque. So you've got lots of inertia. Your lower body's having to, but it's not involved in the party, so the problem we've got is that stabilizing you. Your lower back's having to, A, you're trying to create force, but then your lower back's just basically taking all the stress of this inertia. So if we can flip it, take the inertia off it by flipping it and getting the force here so these can react, and then we can just orientate ourselves to direct these forces. So we're just taking the stress off the system. And if we can unweight while we're doing it, there's no tension on the joints. While you're loaded into the floor, there's tension across the joints. Mm. But as soon as you push off, you're essentially an astronaut. You're off. Zero gravity, isn't it? So it's like 
the, the, yes, there's, there's some there's internal forces that you're creating, external force from the club, some internal forces you're creating through the joints, but you've already done it. So now you're just transferring. You're not generating through leverage from the ground. You've, you've used it. So that timing is going to be absolutely imperative for us to reduce potential injury from your swing. You can't do that at the minute because we need lateral and rotation for that. Like throwing, first thing you do is take a step. Now you've got the pressure there, you can push, which means now you can fire. If that never gets there, essentially what you're doing in your golf swing, it's going to there. But you're still doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah. So once we get that there, then we can start to use the lower body. All make sense? Yeah, no, it's exciting. It is. I just wonder whether my body's going to uh, cooperate. We'll find out. Bend your knees for me, and I just want you to make some circles and just go round. Just look at that, fantastic. Feel okay? Yeah, I, mean, I don't feel that stable, but... Perfect, you shouldn't. What I want you to do now, stand up straight. Now go very careful with this, because this is not the way I want you to rotate. We should never rotate like this. Okay, I just want you to twist your hips. Okay, because that's, that's stress on the back, okay? But I'm just looking if you can dissociate. Now, stop for a second, that's enough for whatever we're gonna do of that movement. So now I want you to make a walking action. By the way, that's what you're doing in your golf swing though, but here. You know, I could feel it twinging the same sort of pains as it might create. <laughs> yeah, you don't wanna be, you wanna be rotating like this, what we're about to do. So walking, and now using this to, to twist the belt buckle. That's how, we, this is how we want to move. Feel the difference? Yeah. So now your ankles, knees, hips are taking the strain. They're, they're take, they're, and you're creating a rotational force from the ground, the torque, and you're letting your pelvis rotate with it. So you're taking the stress off. Okay, so if you step back onto the carpet for me and just feel that with the ground. Now the ground's a stability, you are the mobility. You are not trying to stay stable. You can push the ground and rotate and use your knees, let your knee, it's called a collapse, let your knee collapse. So you can push off a toe, you can push off the toe to help you rotate. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Different feeling? Yeah. Like junior golf again. <laughs> Just have a swing for me. Just back and forth in the air, Mark. Softer than that. Little half swings. Down and up. See if you can feel that drop and pop. So what I want you to watch, no, out, of, out of all that, Mark, yeah. the only thing I want you to watch here is that white line. Mm -hmm. Don't match about anything else at the minute. All that was for this. Look at the torque. As you swing down, you're fully loaded into the floor and you've got torque in the direction you're actually going. All that was just for that little bit. Your body's wanting, it's crying out for rotation of the ground. And you've, you've basically just denied it access to the ground for rotation. So what we need to do now is we need to go on the board and we need to start to look at how we get these rotations through the upper body. And then how we give ourselves our best chance, that's all we can do, of making sure this can happen in a swing, because as soon as that low point goes up, everything we're doing here is pretty much lost, because your body wants to hit that golf ball for you, you give it the instruction, and you've just made a lot of your personal space unavailable mm. for it to use, yep. in terms of the low point forward, mm -hmm. because we've got to get down there to be able to push. That doesn't mean we've got to try working hard, it just means if you were throwing a ball, you do it. You do it automatic, and the automaticity is there. We've just got to unpick it a bit. So we're going to go to the board. Let's do this together. I'll just get my left hand the club. We'll do this together. So we know when you take your eyes away, you get it almost instant, okay? Because your body reads its environment really well when our monkey brains aren't getting involved in it, okay? So just this is the way it is. So right hand on it. Start here. Eyes. I'll go first, you'll see what's going on. Don't look anywhere else to keep my eyes. I'm not, keep there, so now you go. Keep that there, just rock. I don't know, ready, just rock. Just get used to rocking without the club. Don't need the club. Keep your body facing that way and just rock. Yeah, you don't need it. Okay, I go first. Good, then you let yourself rotate. Now, just rock back and forth, keeping it up there. Keep your chair, keep your shoulder, there you go. There. No, 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 you're not turning this way. You stay that way. And then, it's not keeping you back to the target in, in a golf swing, it's just, we're just keeping the club in space. And now, off you go. Good, there's a trace. So we go, one, 
two, three. Nice, keep, stay there, stay there. And that can just keep going that way as you drop into that. Try it again. See how much you can play with that rotation mark. So throw it forward on one, start here. Always start here on this side, zero, that's zero. Start place, then we go one, two, three. Yes, that have to, so we can just let ourselves fall. And again, we'll do it again, ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Well done, stay there, stay in that space. And we can just explore now, just start to sit down. You feel okay with that? Yeah. So now you're loaded over this side and you've got all this rotation of the body. Different feeling, yeah? Yeah. Okay, you'd have fired by now, you've already gone, okay? <laughs> so now, yeah. start again for me. One, two, and explore that place. Brilliant. We get the one, two, three, and then we feel we've got a four. We've actually got a four to the swing. That's the most important thing to start with. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So we've got some reference to what we're doing. One, two, three, four. So we can start to play around with this landscape we're creating, temporally as well as physically. Just for this exercise, put the club behind the ball. Mm -hmm. Use the rocket of the board first, forward, to go then back on two and then drop into three. And what we've got to do is we've got to create a timeline of one, two, three, four. You're starting on the back and then you can push forward to get it going. Nice. That was much closer. Yeah. It was a, a sniff of a three and a four. Nice. Different feel to that? Yeah. It feels like the ball's moving a lot faster down the bottom. I mean, the club, sorry. Awesome. That's fantastic, Mark. Just talk me through your feeling there. It just felt like at the top, I was, I was creating three, le you know, leaning into that and letting this go. Very good. If you don't mind just stepping off the plate yeah. for a second, that's fine. That's lovely. Nice. That was. So talk me through your feeling of that, time-wise, movement-wise. Shot was obviously evident, but what did you what did you experience there? Three was long enough, and I snapped out of that one a bit faster. Mm. Feel good? Yeah, happy with that. That's brought the ball flight down about 20 foot in the air, right? <laughs> That's just, yeah, that was on the list of things to do, right? Mm, yeah, it was, yeah. I was very aware of that. Oh, yeah. Wow. More zip to that. Yeah. You, you're loading up the system. Yeah, he's compressing it now. Experience the shot, yeah, enjoy it, but also now re start reflect. Was it like what I intended? Yeah. So you've got to ask yourself questions. Um, let's get the big, big stick. 